throwing exceptions in Scala programming. So, we know that exceptions are nothing but erroneous conditions. Whenever some erroneous conditions will occur, the program will produce the error message and it will halt during the runtime. But if we have the proper exception handling, then we can handle the situation and we can keep our program executing. So, Scala's exceptions work like exceptions in many other languages as well as, well as Java. And instead of returning a value in the normal way, a method can terminate by throwing an exception also. So, we know that a particular function can return a value, but also a function can throw one exception if it is required. So, however, Scala does not actually have the checked exceptions. So, when we want to handle the exceptions, we use a try catch block. So, where we are having the try and the within the curly braces, we will be writing the try block. Then we are having this keyword catch and within the curly braces, we will be writing our catch block. So, like you would uh, do the same in case of Java, except that the catch block uses the matching to identify and handle the exceptions. So, obviously, the syntax is different. Throwing an exception looks the same as in Java and you create an exception object and then you throw it with the throw keyword as follows. So, whenever a function returns one value that is good enough, but a function can also throw one exception. So, what is the code with the help of which the function can throw one exception? It will be done in this way. So, throw is a keyword the new we are creating one object under this exception class, let it be illegal argument exception. So, how a function can throw one exception, it can be thrown in this way, that is our throw new illegal argument exception or any other exception class you can mention here. So, in this way we have, do, we have just discussed how a function can throw exception in our Scala coding. But in the next videos, we will be discussing a lot and with the some sample demonstration and coding that how to handle exceptions in Scala. Thanks for watching this video.